Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, my email is below, cancerbabyinfo at gmail. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do a huge giveaway every month. I do a $250 giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, runes, crystals, books. Bibles. Um, it is a lot of fun. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. You don't want to win and then miss the shout out. Okay. All right, loves. Let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aries, please. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. For my Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Page of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the two, no, excuse me, the Four of Wands. A lot of Wands, the World card. A lot of Fire, guys. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Piscean, and the Ace of Pentacles. My tablecloth is going to make me crazy. Do you guys see this? It's making me nuts. Literally. I'm going to go nuts. Okay, moving on. All right, Aries. So what I'm seeing here is we have somebody that I feel like someone has just had it. <laughs> someone is just done um, and there's going to be a conversation about it. Uh, I feel like maybe someone here is actually ready to commit Aries um, because trying to fight the feeling is a little bit too much. You see what I'm saying? I feel like someone is realizing that it's time to end this chapter of the relationship and maybe, you know, start over type of thing. The High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles, someone here is being divinely guided to start a new beginning. Someone's intuition is screaming at them to offer stability and commitment here. Someone here is tired of fighting against the grain, like they're tired of fighting how they feel. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here is trying to work on forever. Someone here is building goals, a 10-year plan. We've got the Six of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. I feel like this player energy that you know of, that, that you've seen out of this person, is in the past. Um, this person, maybe you have been with this ex since childhood. You've been with them for a long time. This could also be a representation of childish behavior, immature behavior. I feel like that's that's done with. This person's growing. They're willing to shut the door on that and, and grow up, you know. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the page of pentacles so i feel like someone here is coming in with more love more um commitment more romance they're offering their heart more okay they're offering their heart more now this may have been a player in the past okay i, I really do feel like you know an aries this could be you sorry you know if it is i don't know what to tell you that's what the cards are saying you know, someone here was a little bit of a player in the past they played a lot of games but i do feel like someone here is um Tired of being a player. We've got the Ten of Swords here. And the Two of Cups. Yeah, someone here. There, The worst is over here. Do you see what I'm saying? Like someone here is ending a way of life because they have found their soulmate. We have the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Oh, two came out here. The Three of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. I feel like someone here is very confident and very uh, excited and passionate to actually work on a connection. The King of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. So what we have here is we have someone here that has finally made up their mind, okay? Finally said, you know what? I, I, I've, I've had enough. I don't want to keep fighting to maintain my freedom. I know this is the love of my life. I know this is my soulmate. Let me just give in and commit. And right when this person 
person decides to do that, this King of Pentacles energy says, you know what? I don't even, I, I got to think about it. I don't even know if I want you right now. So right when someone comes to this place of like, okay, I'm ready to commit, the other person is in this energy of, you know, I don't, maybe because of trust issues or maybe because someone here took too long to commit. Someone's in this energy now of, I don't know if I want this anymore. You see what I'm saying? Someone here maybe just took too long. Aries. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. So we've got the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. So we've got someone that's fed up. Page of Wands and the Sun. Leo energy. Someone here is, let me just explain to you how things stand between us. I'm tired of your face. Like that's, that's literally what this person is saying. I just, I cannot deal with your face and what's coming out of your mouth anymore. Like someone's just like done. They just don't want to hear it anymore. They don't want to deal with it anymore. Maybe someone here was very immature, a player. Four of Wands energy and the Eight of Cups. That's, you know, we may be dealing with a Twin Flame situation here, Aries, okay? Because, you know, it feels a little Twin flame machine. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like it's very, very rocky start. Um, so I feel like someone walked away. Someone straight up got up and walked away. The world card and the chariot, Cancerian energy. Someone made the decision to end the situation, walk away. The high priestess and the five of swords, um, the ace of pentacles and the five of wands. I feel like someone is losing their mind here, wanting to come in, win another chance at all costs. Someone here is serious about wanting to come in and start that new beginning, okay? Um, eight of pentacles and the knight of cups. Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I feel like someone here is whatever work they didn't put into this connection when you guys were together, they are going to basically kill themselves trying to make up for it all on like a Wednesday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this person is going to kill themselves trying to like come in and, you know, just overload and overdo it, showing love and romance and everything, trying to show that they are not in this energy anymore. Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. But there's this energy of no, I know the truth i know who you are and you're a bullshit artist you know what i'm saying i know who you are i've seen the real you the knight of cups and the three of cups the page of pentacles and the devil capricorn energy um i'm sure you say that to all the girls or all the guys you see what i'm saying like someone here is like yes i understand that you could be romantic but it's because you know you've already said it to about three dozen different other men or women you understand someone here just doesn't have a good outlook on the situation Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Cups and the Justice card, Libra energy. Someone's ready to settle down. That 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 uh, that juggling lifestyle. Someone's done with it. They're putting an end to that player. They're hanging up their player jersey. They're they're done with it. Okay. We've got the Two of Cups and the Justice card. This person wants to do the right thing. Settle down. Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So one person here is coming in saying, listen, I want to give you everything that you want. I want to give you your every wish, your every desire. You know what I'm saying? I want to make this happen. Someone's coming in hot and because that Queen of Wands energy, when the Queen of Wands wants something, it's like she doesn't go to bed at night until it's done. Do you see what I'm saying? The Queen of Wands doesn't have patience to progressively woo someone over time. As I said, the Queen of Wands energy, and this can be a male, will wake up on a Wednesday morning and make sure that you are locked down in a relationship, ready to go, trusting them again and everything, all in a span of like 13 hours. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's not, you know, the Queen of Wands energy. And that's why with this Queen of Swords energy, they're being met with a wall. Do you understand? Because someone here is not taking the time to come back to someone, show them that they have changed, show them that this is real. No, someone's just rushing in saying, listen, we're doing it. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm changed. Everything's good. And, and they're not giving the other person the time. King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. That the, that's why this person isn't even answering. Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man. Someone here is super excited, talking, coming forward, very excited energy, very passionate energy, and they're being left on red. 
You see what I'm saying? They're being left on red because so, you know, you got to go a little bit slower here, Aries, if this is you. We've got new beginnings and great achievements. Yes, it will be a great achievement if you can get another chance with this person because someone here is not trusting, okay? But I feel like this Queen of Wands energy is definitely up for the challenge. Um, courage and the honoring path. This person knows that they're out to do the right thing. So they're going to fight for this connection, Aries. So that could be you, could be your person. I don't know. Strategy, walking away, and envy. Um, someone's plan was to walk away. Someone's plan was to walk away. And, um, you know, with envy, this could be an energy of maybe there was too much competition or strife in the connection and someone was tired of it and wanted to leave. Or it could be the fact that someone here walked away and the person that um, got left behind cannot handle the thought of their person walking away and going to be with someone else. We've got codependency and playfulness. Someone here was a player. Someone here was addicted to all types of stuff that have no business being in a grown adult relationship. Okay. And they're working on it. They're working on it, okay? Um, yeah, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Okay, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.